rising, grand rising. It is day 40 for my 254 day challenge. I'm chilling a bit um, for it's time for me to hop in them blues and hit it for that corporate clock. But um, just moisturize my face with some coconut water and some aloe vera extract. Today is day 40 for the 254 day challenge. Thank you for joining me. Subscribe. Ooh, woo, this hair. This hair. Hot outside. I guess I better go get some braids. I didn't want the braids, but looking like I better get some braids. So today is day 40 for the 254 day challenge. The scripture for the day was Ephesians 2.10. Talks about death and life. God's household being gifted with grace because of belief. The songs for the day was Tasha Cobb Leonard, Wonderful Grace. My, how that flowed. Featuring Anna Golden. The second song for the day was Frontline. A rap song. By Brian Trail, Antoine Hill, Triple Three, Santiago, Young Bro, and ASAP Peach. Rap it for the Lord. Frontline. The third song was Dietrich Hatton, Amen, talked about the glory, surrendering, lifting them hands, specifically mentioned Romans 18, Ephesians 2.10, that's the scripture for the day. So today, while I work, I'll be in Ephesians 2, and then I'll go back to Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. I kind of got a little sidetracked today, just laying around, but, um... My memories for my Facebook is always amazing to me, especially when I'm, I guess my mind is on something heavy. And uh, last night before retiring to bed, I stumbled across some video uh, a Keisha, 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 Keisha and family. And it was like hours long. So I was trying to see what was happening because she was really hyper and crying and upset and telling people to share the live and couldn't really get from her exactly uh, the story, but People were putting in the comments something about her husband had been grooming her 15-year-old daughter, um, possibly for sexual abuse. And her live ended up getting like close to 20,000 shares. And I just was curious in the comments. So I went to the comments to see you know, how people were reacting to the story. And um, my, my heart ached for the many, oh, the many of comments that came in of survivors speaking about 
their sexual abuse as a child. And uh, I just was like, whoa. Like, whoa. And then this morning, when I woke up, after going and getting the scripture for the day and doing my reading, and meditating, and listening to my songs, I started browsing and checking my memory and I was like, whoa. <laughs> my memory came up from when I posted um, my business card for Darkness to Light as a facilitator of child, the prevention and awareness of child sexual, sexual abuse. And I'm just like, at that moment, every time, it's giving me like, I am not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I am not working in my calling. It's, it's, it's becoming clear. It's becoming clear. And I got it. And I'm on it. This ties into it. This ties into it. Where I'm preparing myself to be in front of an audience. I'm preparing myself to be humble, not worry, you know, with the world is calling beauty. It's just, it's not about that. It's about uh, saving lives. And I just, I, I didn't want to seem like I was spamming. I wanted to Are pulling from there, but I didn't want to seem like I was uh, trying to recruit on their page, but man, I wanted to reach out. Our world is hurting. We're hurting. We're hurting. I know I have been, but uh, it's been a, a A time, but uh, it's coming along. I'm definitely not where I need to be, but I'm for sure not where I used to be. Killing myself daily. Because of pain. And not understanding why me? Why me? And reading some of the things that I've been reading, another thing, a uh, memory came up from a, a advocate that I had been uh, close to. We never met in person, but we've communicated a lot via social media, and I used to share a lot of their things. Uh, but one of their uh, posts came up in my memory also today. And while I was reading it, I was like, wow, I wish my brother, who the one who has been having such a problem with me and why I didn't, you know, mention as a child that I was being sexually abused. I wish he could read this post and the many other stories behind why victims don't speak up, some never tell. You may know someone in your own family, a friend who have been through something similar or even worse and just haven't shared for whatever reason. I, I have a friend I've been knowing for years and I just recently found out 
from her. I have a male friend. I just recently found out from him and share my story. They shared, their, they felt comfortable to share with me because of me sharing my story. I saw in the comments yesterday where people were upset because the lady went live when the police arrived and it was like the whole ordeal was played out and people was upset telling her that was a private matter and she shouldn't be online with it you know and then others was like no this is good because you know another mother you know or father having to go through this situation would know how to handle it you know from experience how she did they you know thought it was a good thing and I, I did too it definitely was a learning experience you know her 15 year old daughter hanging out with her friend you know sharing messages coming through her text message her phone through her from her mom's boyfriend and a friend disturbed about it and has such a close relationship with her mother that she was able to share that with her mother and then her mother acted as she should have as a parent being man a mandatory reporter connected with the little girl's mom and shared look look what your husband over here doing and that mom immediately went into action and i commend her i commend her you know for that it was no questions asked she stood by her daughter the one problem is not knowing where the little girl was during that time um i don't know I don't know which of us coming together for one and sharing our stories and being able to share our stories, especially when minds coming together, that energy, what Napoleon Hill says, creates a master mind. We can come up with solutions. And that was a that was a goal that I was on back in 2007 and I hate to say in 2022 I fell off of that goal but was achieving some things back in Georgia in 30032 zip code with my dinner and conversations my community cafes you can look it up um, and that was the purpose of me moving here back to Detroit Michigan and then I got back here and um everybody seemed to be strong and doing their own thing individually and not understanding when we come together and put our things together we become stronger you know a powerful force to be reckoned with so um i'm back on the front line i'm back on the front line i have things that's just steadily coming up that's just showing me uh, Lenine, this is this is what you sh this is what you're supposed to be doing. Get to it. So I thank you for joining me. I'm not gonna hold up any more of your time. I'm gonna go get myself ready to hit this corporate clock. But but again, I thank you for joining me. Today is day 40 for the 254 day challenge. It is only the beginning. I vision that system of care where resources is connected in a large chain and families are centered in the mid middle and whatever need be it for growth education health safety that need could be met through the connections, the links of our resources. Entrepreneurship, pushing, let's start with our little ones, leading by example from us. You know, we was encouraged to go to school, get a good education and get a good job. No, go to school, get you that good knowledge so you know how to lead and manage, create, invent, design, 
so that we could build up our communities through economic development, self-sufficiency. That's the key for me. Generational wealth, building legacies, starting with strengthening our families, starting with me. That's where I'm at. It's Friday, day 40. We're in year 2022. Watch the growth. Join me. 254 day challenge. Changing habits. Whatever goal you need to get accomplished, you can get it done. Get focused. Write the vision. Make it plain. Affirm daily. Act and live it out. I am blessed and highly favored. I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. No weapons formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against me shall be condemned by the Lord. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I am a builder I am a creator. I am victorious. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am disciplined and I am focused. I will get everything that my heart desires. God is with me. I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. Mercies and goodness follows me all the days of my life. Riches and wealth are in my home. Everything I touch, I succeed in. I am a winner. I am blessed. I am highly favored. Grace is upon my life. Glory, glory to God. I am a survivor. I make the impossible possible. I am resilient. I'll bounce back from anything. I'll never be broke again. I'll never be hungry again. The Lord is with me. Happy Friday. When people who got more than you don't like you and you're trying to figure out why you attacking me when I ain't got nothing I hope y'all tap this church God said if they hate you at this level what they gonna do when I elevate you to a